In today's video, we'll talk about AirBrake's AppDeck score feature, part of AirBrake performance monitoring. An AppDeck score is perfect for developers who want to quantify the user experience of their application. First, let's discuss what is an AppDeck score. AppDeck stands for Application Performance Index, a score that measures your user's satisfaction with the response times of your application. An AppDex is calculated using the following formula. AppDex T equals satisfied count plus 0.5 times the tolerating count plus zero times frustrated count all over total samples. Here's what the variables mean. T is the amount of time specified for a successful transaction. Satisfied count is the number of transactions or activities which process equal to or less than T. Tolerating count is the number of transactions that take within four times the satisfied count. Frustrated count is the number of transactions or actions which do not process within the above guidelines. And total samples is the total number of transactions or activities within a given time frame. When calculated, you'll receive a score between zero and one. Your customers are more likely to be satisfied with your application if your score is less than or equal to T. A tolerating score is equal to 4T or four times the amount of time that one would expect a process to complete. Any transaction that takes longer than 4T is considered frustrated. Essentially, the closer you are to one, the more satisfied your users are. In this table, you can see the breakdown of this criteria. Now that you know more about what an AppDex is, let's dive into how you can use AirBrake to find your AppDex score. From the account dashboard, you can select projects. And from there, click on the performance tab. In the upper left corner, you'll see your AppDex score. Before your AppDex score can be calculated, your project needs time to populate events. So don't worry if your score is at a zero in the beginning. Before your app begins populating errors, take a moment to change your app deck's threshold T, the amount of time specified for a successful transaction. You can do this in one of two ways. The first is to click on the T within the app deck's card, which will automatically take you to the settings page. The second way is to click on the settings tab. Please note that you must have permission to change the T. As your project begins to populate events, your AppDex score will automatically update. Once it does, you can further drill down into user satisfaction via the graph on the right. The graph shows the number of satisfied, tolerating, or frustrated transactions that occurred that day. Once again, AppDex is a great way to keep track of how satisfied your users are with your application. If it begins to dip, AirBrake for performance monitoring can help you find out which routes are frustrating your users the most. And that completes today's overview of AirBrake's AppDex score feature. Please like and subscribe to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Deploy often, deploy fearlessly, and we'll see you in the next one.